I saw, you know, if you're a copywriter, you may be familiar with this guy, but I've, I've started following a gentleman by the name of Terry Schilling the other day on Twitter and LinkedIn, and he's a copywriter. Um, he, he uh, in his LinkedIn bio, it says copywriter for creative companies and entrepreneurs, and, and he puts out just some great content on his, on his newsletter. He does some streams, and he posts great stuff on LinkedIn, and he shared a post the other day that you know, really, uh, you know, that, that I commented on and got a ton of engagement. He just asked folks, you know, he, he listed out the tools that he uses that are worth paying to upgrade. So, you know, there are a lot of tools, especially in the marketing or creative space that you can, uh, that, that they offer free subscriptions. Um, but you know, you get a little, you know, if you, if you, if you want to use it, um, and, and get the most out of it, you have to to go with one of their paid subscriptions, but you can get a little bit out of the free version. So he he listed out, you know, the tools that he uses that are worth paying to upgrade, in his opinion. And he listed Canva, which I'm using the free version of and love it. Um, Grammarly, Cloud App, StreamYard, which I pay for to stream these and, and interview my podcast guests. I'm loving StreamYard. Uh, and he lists Squarespace. So that kind of made me think of you know, what free tool am I using right now that I will likely upgrade to? So I just wanted to talk a little bit about Kapwing. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Kapwing, I'm going to share my screen real quick. Let me uh, pull this into a different window. So Kapwing is a nice kind of, you know, they offer a free version again, which I'm using at the moment to be able to um, you can upload and edit video. You can create graphics, animated graphics, all within their um, browser-based platform. And it's it's great. And I particularly use it to add subtitles to videos. As, as folks in the social media and marketing world know, um, when you post your videos to social media, it's rare that somebody actually taps on the video to listen to it. So it's key these days to have some subtitling or some text that helps tells the story overlaid on the video. So I discovered Kapwing through a YouTube video and I've been using it since, at least for the last couple months, to create just some simple subtitles for my, some subtitle overlays for the videos I post on social. So I'm going to share my screen real quick um, and just show you a little bit. Oh. Uh, what Kapwing looks like. So you should, here's my screen here. Um, so here's, here's what Kapwing looks like, K-A-P-W-I-N-G.com, check it out. Um, and again, you know, I use it to uh, add subtitles to my videos. So I'll just kind of show you how easy that is real quick. So this was, this clip right here is with Anthony Brokus. He was a podcast guest uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, we talked about remote live video production tech. It was great. Episode 15, I think, if you want to check it out, K-Stream Podcast. Um, but, you know, so I, I went and I, and I wanted to take some of the clips that I really liked from the interview, um, cut them out and, and post them to, to social. So all you have to do is, you know, you log into Kapwing, you come to a screen where you can upload the video, and then you come here to the subtitles tab. All you, all you do, click auto-generate. And now it's working to upload um, or, or generate subtitles. Um, now, of course, any kind of auto generator, you know, you're going to have to do some editing, but it's really not so bad, especially if you're posting a video to social that's one to two minutes. With the free version of Kapwing, you do only get to, I, I think you're limited to posting a video that's no more than 200 megabytes. If you upgrade, um, it's... Let me see. I'm looking at the pricing here. If you upgrade to $17 per month paid annually, you get a two gigabyte file upload limit, which is great. You can export videos up to one hour long if you want to do all that. Um, but you know, right now the free version has been working for me, and and um, yeah, it's a 250 megabyte file upload limit. Export videos up to seven minutes long with the free version. So I've been getting by with the free version, but this is one tool that I would consider uh, upgrading. And I'm hoping that this, here we go. And then see, you can 
I was hoping it would at least show you um, what it looks like once it's done auto generating the, tr uh, the subtitles and you can change the size of the captions up here or, or the subtitles and, and move them around, um, move them up or down wherever you, wherever kind of works best for your video layout. For me, I just chose the bottom for these. Uh, you can mess with the background colors. Um, you can pick different fonts and you know, when you're done, you click done and export it and it's great. So, so this, this has been a really cool tool that I could definitely see myself, um, paying for, um, let me get this, let me stop sharing my screen here. You know, it also allows you, like I said, to create, uh, animated overlays and let me see if I can find one real quick that I created um, with Kapwing. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, so I can I created this quick little overlay using Kapwing for for again for free. And adds a nice little little touch to the to the show. And it's a shameless plug to go follow K Stream Show on Facebook and Instagram. There it is again.